What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time watching, thank you for joining us. Today we are reacting to What We Do in the Shadows, Season 2, Episode 1. In the last episode, it was obviously the season finale, uh, we found out that Nandor had some living relatives. One was actually local, not even relatives, they were actual like descendants, right? So his like yeah. great, 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 whatever, granddaughter. Uh, he had like hundreds of thousands of them, like uh, in total. But he only had one that was local to the area, right? And they actually tracked her down, and he murdered her. <laughs> not, not, not. I mean, he didn't murder no. her, but she was like in her nineties. Yeah. And he floated up to her window, and like knocked on the window. Even though he said not to, right? Didn't they say yeah. don't knock on the window? And he's yeah, like, I'm he gonna was, knock. <laughs> they told him not to because <laughs> they they didn't want him to like scare her to death, and that's exactly what happened. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so she's dead. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure he's he's learned a lesson and he's not going to visit any more of his relatives. Um, but also from that, we also learned that Guillermo is actually related to Van Helsing, which is something that these vampires do not know. They didn't. He did not let them know because why the fuck would you? Right? They already hate him. <laughs> I wouldn't. Although he kind of has leverage if he, you know, if he lets them know. He might be able to tell them what to do. You know, just one wrong move, I'll stab you in the fucking heart. But we saw at the end there, he was uh, pissed off. He threw the stakes, and they just all happened to land on each portrait directly in their heart. He has a he has a natural talent for killing vampires. Yeah, because apparently it runs in his blood. <laughs> and that makes sense. That you know, uh, him killing the Baron was easy. He killed that vampire down when they were going to get sentenced in the trial. Uh, so, like you said, it kind of runs through like, his veins. You think that they're all accidents, right? Yeah. That, like, it, sure, it certainly felt like they were all accidents. But maybe the Baron was the only accident. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. He's accident like like... He's accidentally really good at killing vampires. That's, <laughs> that's quite a skill. We also had the return of Gregor, who was called to uh, by uh, Nadja, right? And when he came back, we saw Laszlo confront him. And we learned that Laszlo, throughout these entire life, like life timelines or whatever, he's been the one killing Gregor. Nadja has been trying to get in contact with him. She would constantly, through each life, um, find him, and then he would get decapitated. But it turns out Laszlo was the one decapitating him this entire fucking time. Every time. Because every time Gregor shows up, apparently Nadja gets really upset and he doesn't like seeing it. Yeah. Um, this time he was going to let him go. Uh, just don't come over here anymore. And it was totally fine. And then... When Gregor tried to leave, he got decapitated again. <laughs> so now he's dead. Uh, it's very unfortunate. He was about to live his life this time, and he got fucked over. This time it was on accident. Can't blame Laszlo necessarily. He did put up that string wire, though, right? Or he had yeah, Guillermo yeah. He, I mean, he did. So I mean, whether he did or not it again. he knew whether or not he knew it was going to happen, though. Yeah, that, that's different. Yeah, that's neither here nor there. The fact is, dude's dead now. Um, would have been interesting if he was still alive to see where it went with it, if they actually ran into him again. But you know, it is what it is. He's dead. Uh, not much to it, though. So we're just gonna jump right in. But before we do, if you're interested in full-length reactions, you can check us out on Patreon. The link is down in the description, as always. So. With that being said, let's just jump right in. Season 2, Episode 1. So yes, it has been quite a summer. We finally got a new familiar. Yeah. But he had an accident and died. Yeah. What? Left Already? a bit. <laughs> Left a bit more. It's not even. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. That's a rough one. I did what any young, handsome man would do. I went and bought a classic convertible. Put the top down, blasted some tunes, and uh, I blocked the entrance to the Lincoln Tunnel. <laughs> what a dick. What? <laughs> Why? Dude, come on. Oh, We've been through about oh boy. Six? Just give up on wow. that. Wow. Well, that's fucked up. Here. Wait, so they could have saved that one. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Come on in. 
Holy shit. What the shit? Oh, fuck. Whoa! Another one. William, that's the 10th vampire I killed this month. He's been on a rampage. Anyway, that is all in the past because we have finally found us a good one. Topher, come in here. Look at this. Topher! Your skull polish, madam. Hey, that's, um, that's the guy. He was that kid from, uh, Sixth Sense, I think. He is proficient in Excel and went to Lehigh. Now, my wife and I have not a whore's notion what any of that means. But we like it. <laughs> so how do you know that Can it's you good? Can G-Money? <laughs> nah, I got it. my <laughs> Oh, wow. He's... He fakes everything. <laughs> That's fucked. <laughs> do Laszlo and Nasher know about this? Uh, if they don't know, can't hurt him. Am I right? High five. Hey, come on, dog. Don't leave me hanging. Yeah, no, I dog. Just... Let's start don't job. leave me hanging, dog. And we're just dog. Don't leave me hanging. I just think yeah, that give me a better one, dog. I just think oh, that... again. High five. Oh yeah. Oh, he's gonna like he's gonna fucking kill him. And I'd be okay with it. <laughs> yeah, I was very surprised that Topher does not want to be a vampire. <laughs> Who doesn't want to be a vampire? What are you doing if you don't? What what do you want to be? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a warlock. That'd be cool. That would be cool. That's like above vampire. Alakazoom! Is that a thing that exists in this world? It might. Come on in. What? Oh, dude. The stuff that you tell me is just so interesting. You know? Zoomy. Who is at the door? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he sucks. He let in the assassins. Just stay away oh, from it. Try to turn it off and back No, on just again? don't touch it, Topher, okay? The electric guy's gonna oh, be here on me. Monday, so just leave it alone. <laughs> Oh, shit. Death comes for us all. It comes for the bees. It comes for the trees. It comes for uh, basically anyone from zero <laughs> on up. So, one. Oh, you kidding. Two. <laughs> <laughs> this is horse piss. We are vampires. We can do better than this for our tofa. Guillermo, dig him up. Yes. Be For what? Of his what? Mom. No. And that Guillermo, tell just tell them that he was a piece of shit. Yeah, he's lazy as fuck. This one increases sexual stamina. <laughs> yeah, you could do with a leg up. And these are keychains that <laughs> look like license like plates. <laughs> look, Mister, we're not interested in your tricks and trinkets. This one would make a cute gift for a man named Steve. Yes, yes, yes. But Wallace, what? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he so fascinated by, like, the simplest things? I don't know. It's funny, though. And the foot of a deranged cat, the night thistle, the parcel of Wolfsbane, and the $350 cash. Thank you. What? It's all there, <laughs> I feel like that's all you need. Man. Good, good. I can't stress enough the $350 cash. Yeah, I <laughs> you can't. Otherwise, the spells don't work. Well, it's <laughs> it's I'm pretty sure bullshit. they would work just fine. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> this looks dumb and fake. Oh, shit. Laszlo's on to something. Wait, what? What? That worked? Are you kidding me? That should me? not work. Everything is back to normal because our Topher is back. It's true. I've got to admit, Wallace, as contemptible a man as he is, actually came up Trump's. Told you so. <coughs> you fucking didn't. Don't tell Kiev, <laughs> I'm so happy Tofa is back. Why? He's not your fam he's not your familiar. Firstly, and I'm not naming names, but I have recently noticed that the house reeks of decaying flesh and there are dead birds everywhere. Oh, As I said, I'm not naming names. But if we do have an issue, then it's important that we all work together to let Guillermo know so that he can fix it. Oh, what? this is Dude. so fucked up. I... I'm a little bit concerned about Topher. I think there might be something really wrong with him. Ah, Topher! Ah! He waits under my bed and tries to yes. bite me, for one. He eats like birds and insects. I think I think he might be a zombie. That, my boy, sounds like slumber. Nandor, what are you going what? to do about the state of the muck pouring out of it? He is literally a reanimated corpse. 
Protect us from what? Nothing. I just wish you guys knew how hard I work for you and you don't, so that's okay. Never mind. Forget it. Did you see that? I was eating his own dry poops. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, Topher! Stop it, Topher! Stop it, Topher! <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> Oh. I know it wasn't. That absolutely was not an accident. What's going on with uh, Tof Dog? Tof Dog? He's a zombie. <laughs> yeah, it could be. See you guys later. What do you mean, could be? It's pretty fucking obvious. <laughs> also, I like how like nonchalant just chilly is. <laughs> you saved me. Thank you. Your screaming disturbed me from my slumber. You shouldn't be putting your head in there. It's not hygienic. If you want to wash yourself, do it in a... Will you stop that? I've had enough of this. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> it was a good familiar and a fine fellow. But what is done is done. <laughs> Fucking guy. <God. laughs> <laughs> Let me have it. What do you think I'm gonna let him go? You must be out of your mind. Come here, boy. Come on, come on. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Wow. Right. I don't know. I'm surprised they're not asking why he has a wooden stake. I know. I was gonna say that. Being a familiar isn't for everyone. You're not always thanked or praised. But after my master saved my life, he proved to me that. He really does care about me and all the things I do for him. Did you hear the things that he said as to why he was doing it? He he said his motive. <laughs> uh, it's a just in case thing. Yeah. All right. That was season two, episode number one of What We Do in the Shadows. Another good episode. I feel like I say that all the time. Certain shows, AP Bio, this, it's just a good fucking show. And it kicked off really strong with this one in the, the season premiere. Uh, Na uh, Naja and Laszlo got a new familiar after a whole ass like team of familiars like just yeah, died. All, th all throughout the summer, they were getting familiar after familiar, and each one would just die. Yeah, I, I mean, w one of them, at least one of them that we saw, could have been avoided. The, the lady with the fire, that was completely fucked up. <laughs> she just totally ignored her, but had yeah, to. She went to go put the curtain out. Yeah. Allowed the familiar to burn to death. Not cool. And Topher got a lot of credit for what Guillermo was doing. What a piece of shit. <laughs> that was so fucked up. He deserved everything that was coming to him. Unfortunately, when he did die, because he didn't listen to fucking Guillermo, he had to go and mess with the goddamn pond. Uh, He got electrocuted and died. But they brought him back. Did not know he would turn into a fucking zombie. And <laughs> I, I just feel bad for Guillermo. He, he tries his hardest and they just don't give a fuck about him. Especially Nandor. You'd, you'd think at least he would be like on his side once in a while. But even at the end there when he was saving his life. Oh, you woke me up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> He's over here dying. Getting drowned in the fucking pond. So fucked. Because of everything that happened in the trial, they're sending out all the vampires to kill, to kill them. And unbeknownst to the the people or the like, Nandor and Naja and Laszlo, Guillermo's been saving their life. Mm -hmm. He used the vampire hunting skills that he acquired through his blood relation to Van Helsing to protect them from the yeah. assassins. Yeah. And he's gotten really good, I'll say. He, he pulled out some fucking, like, Neo from the Matrix fucking moves. <laughs> he, uh... What did he say? He said in the last month he's killed, like, a dozen vampires. And he's just hiding them in plain sight, basically. Buying curtains, fucking showers and shit. He doesn't know... I mean, what are you gonna do with the bodies, right? You can't... I mean, honestly, why not put him out in the sun? Throw him somewhere. I, well, maybe he is. Like, we can't see. Like, we don't know that they're all still there. We only saw the kills. It didn't show us what he does with them. I guess. But didn't they say that... Uh, well, never mind, because it was probably referring to Topher. The decaying body and stuff. The smell. 
Yeah, <clears throat> I'm, I'm pretty sure they were talking about Topher. Um, uh, but as we saw at the end there, he's also keeping stakes and fucking cross in his little fridge, obviously for protection, just in case. Because you can't you can't trust these motherfuckers, man. As much as I like them, they're they are not loyal. <laughs> But perhaps the craziest part of this episode was that ritual. What the fuck was he saying? I don't even. I don't think he knew what he was saying. <laughs> yeah, well, like, it worked. They, like I can't even say that he that they were words. It was just noise coming out of his mouth. Yeah, it was insane. Uh, and then he, he was answering his phone while it was happening. That's probably what turned him into. Actually, I don't. I don't even want to say that because um, I have no idea what he was saying. Just. <laughs> I guess it was an Amber Alert, right? But I, I agree with Laszlo. That dude's a total scam artist. He charges three hundred fifty dollars to give free keychains. <laughs> yeah, like it's it's almost it's almost comedic that Laszlo was basically accusing this guy of being a grifter. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Especially after the fucking community episode. That's hella funny. Didn't even think of that. Um, the one thing I am curious is the progress that Jenna has made. I'm hoping we get to see her soon. You know? Oh, I totally forgot. Yeah. She just learned that she could turn invisible. She turned into that fucking gargoyle looking thing. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that was. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm hoping we get to see her soon. Uh, that should be fun. And... Yeah, I don't know what else to say other than it was a pretty good episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our reactions. If you haven't already, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever we upload a brand new video. And lastly, of course, if you're interested in full-length reactions, you can check us out on Patreon. The link is down below in the description. So with all that being said, we'll see you guys in the next one.